Hello everyone. Today we will uh, see the next experiment that is stepper motor control, both speed as well as uh, direction control. So using uh, LPC2148, we are trying to do stepper motor control, which is part of your uh, experiment syllabus in the experiment which is there for POE as well. We'll go for a new microvision project and uh, we'll save it in the appropriate directory. Uh, this is my main directory here. Okay, here I'm trying to save with the folder name as stepper. Stepper motor. controller okay this is the project name okay choose nxp funded by philips LPC 2148, find it, say yes, here you uh, have that startup, take new, I have a code already, so go to file, save as, Here I'll give name stepper extension dot C. Okay. Just now I have saved. Uh, in the actual program, uh, for one second it is calculated that this must be 10. It is okay, quite. You can, if you want, you can change. If you want to change the speed, you can change this one. Uh, for this moment, you can pause it and you can take a snapshot of this uh, because at 0 0.4 to 0 0.7, uh, we have connected uh, the stepper motor, which require four lines to control. We are using unipolar stepper motor, and then. Uh, uh, accordingly we are doing it we are in a loop 639c and if you if you want to complete the loop this will come here which is very uh, easy it will go in uh, clockwise if you do in this if you go for uh, opposite direction say you start with uh, uh, you know opposite from this so you say from uh, C 936 something like this so it will go in uh, opposite direction so that I will leave it to you and at this point you can uh, debug it here itself before that you need to add that to your project add it to your project I have added before building or even now before building you do these two option go to option for target uh, you can find it here in the project option for target one or there's a shortcut here output create x file linker use memory layout from the target dialog these two you must do and then build once you do the do this you should not have any errors or warnings if you have errors and warnings clear it take a moment and uh, have a snap snapshot of this project this is the uh, the main program this is the configuration you need to do, do this uh, I think I did it uh, twice you don't have to do it twice one time is sufficient okay by mistake, I think I did two times. Uh, people uh, intentionally do it just to ensure that it will become, 
it okay just to ensure that it must be done so you don't need to do that one time is sufficient this is the main program if you wish you can take a snapshot of the main program and this is the delay program you can use a simple delay program that we used in uh, uh, flashing led uh, we did uh, 10000 something uh, that is quite okay well or you can make use of this delay I don't have to buy at this or remember this or you simply go for uh, the delay that we used in flashing LED. Uh, make sure that you have sufficient delay so that you, uh, your uh, program, uh, uh, if it is too fast, uh, the motor cannot respond and it feel like it, it, you feel like it is vibrating. If it is too slow, still you can able to observe but it is very uh, time consuming so let's uh, debug it in the uh, debugger port 0 because 0 0.4 to 0 0.7 we have connected motor and if I run it this is the this is going in anti-clockwise now so it is going in anti-clockwise uh, sorry clockwise okay and if you want you can do it anti-clockwise the sequence must be reversed that time leaving it to you so this is working so it will come out of the debugger mode and go and implement the same thing in uh, proteus lpc 2138 the nearest device that we have and we need a motor that is stepper motor I am trying to use this uh, stepper motor animated unipolar stepper motor ok so uh, to interface because stepper motors requires uh, current, large current, we need uh, interfacing for that in, I need a driver. What we have in our lab is uh, ULN 2003A, okay. You can make use of this driver and connect these things. Uh, before uh, going for remaining connections, first I will do VCC and VSS because most of the time I forget this and I struggle later. I connect the ground. Give it three point three volt. And the same thing you can connect it to reset. This is required, don't forget these things. And then I am trying to find 0 0.3 to 0. Uh, 0 0.4 to 0 0.7 connected to any 4, uh, make it uh, in sequence so that it will be easy for us to connect the output. So I have connected 4. In the, in the same way you can connect uh, uh, motor, connect it correctly or else your motor may not uh, run properly. Fine. Now I need to connect uh, this middle one, middle things uh, to a supply. So I just uh, need 
the middle points I am trying to connect it to plus 12 volts. Uh, you can take up VCC or you can take a DC supply here. Anyone is going to be okay. Make it 12 volt. Say okay. Ensure that it is 12 volt. And here I need I think around 5 volt supply. This is called driver. You can connect supply or uh, still you can make use of DC. Anyone is going to be okay. Plus 5 volt. Sometimes you can connect higher uh, registers are not shown. Uh, some registers are required here and here but I am not going to show that for simplicity. And uh, we load the program and locate your project directory. Okay. And uh, go to this. Where is my project? This is my project directory. I'm loading hex file. Say okay. Hopefully it should work if I run the program. Okay. Uh, let's run. The problem was uh, with uh, the file. I have loaded the wrong file earlier. Now I have to load the correct file because earlier you can able to roll back and say it was key sensing. Uh, the program wrongly uh, downloaded here so uh, we, were, we could not able to get the output now uh, we got it you could able to see the output okay it's running clockwise it's 90 degree uh, resolution so you can uh, make it fast or slow by changing the delay here we'll make it a little faster Okay, it is little faster compared to earlier one. So, it is fast uh, that even we can take up 50, we can reduce the speed. Yes, it is now slow. So this is how we can able to control the speed of uh, stepper motor. Uh, I'll give it uh, you that you give the opposite sequence like, okay, here if you give uh, three, uh, you, you give it opposite, say nine, three, six and C. So that will give you uh, anti-clockwise uh, uh, rotation. Now it is clockwise, okay. So hope you can able to make it uh, uh, by yourself, it is very easy program and you can able to